Yeah, you can see on the replay that Marlon Humphrey is grabbing his jersey here, slowing him down, and then holds on to him at the last minute. It's definitely pass interference. Yeah, kind of had a had a hold of him from the very beginning and didn't really let go. So uh, that gives the Titans a little extra field position here. Finding Cameron Batson is Tannehill. Batson goes for a first down. Take another look at it here. A little outlet pass, and Batson breaks the tackle for a first down. Let's go now on second and eight. LT, it's Janu Smith. Yeah, what you can see here is Baltimore is getting out of there, meaning dropping back in coverage and leaving everything underneath open. And you see John Smith takes advantage um, on this play. So Baltimore comes in, LT. This is crazy. As the league's top scoring defense, they allow the fewest points per game of anybody in football, but they have the highest percentage of allowing touchdowns in the red zone. They are dead last in the league in red zone defense when it comes to allowing touchdowns. Now, they don't do it a lot, but when teams get down there, they have a tendency to find the end zone down inside the red zone. And here the Titans do with Ryan Tannehill to Johnny Smith. Yeah, you want to get, get down in the red zone and score touchdowns, and that's exactly what they did. And so the Ravens get back out on offense here. Mark Andrews, such a vital part to the Ravens' pass game a year ago, trying to get that connection rolling with Lamar Jackson uh, this week. Although this drive would stall inside Titans territory, lead to a Justin Tucker field goal. 7-3 Titans. Check out the pressure. Looks like Patrick Queen putting some pressure on Tannehill up the middle, and it's picked off by Tyus Bowser. Boy, that middle pressure hard to deal with, LT. It really is, and Baltimore does a great job of putting pressure on the quarterback. As you see, Patrick Queen comes right up the middle, unblocked. Ryan Tannehill has to rush his throw, and he throws it right up to an open defender who's sitting right there in coverage. Tyus Bowser sets up this connection from the Ravens offense. It's Mark Andrews again from Lamar Jackson. Down inside the 10 on Andrews, who has, uh, that's just his second catch. We've shown you both of them. He's got two for 44. Here, J.K. Dobbins, third and one. Does he get in? Yes, it's called the touchdown on the field. They actually had a touchdown in their prior play on second in goal, but uh, that was taken off the board. Patrick DeMarco was had his uh, knee down before he crossed the goal line, so that touchdown came off. They reviewed this one from Dobbins, but no evidence to be able to overturn it. Dobbins gets the score. Nice power there to stretch it out over the goal line. And how about a two-point conversion here, LT? Right back to Dobbins. Yeah, just a great play design. Put Dobbins out in motion and have him run right away to the flats, and he's wide open. Great throw and catch. So it's a, it was a 14-7 game at that point. Titans were able to add a field goal from Steven Guskowski to make it 14-10 at the half. Lamar Jackson, just four completions through the game's first 30 minutes. Two of them went to Mark Andrews. Ryan Tannehill, not a whole lot better. Just 7 of 13, 42 yards. He's got the interception. Derrick Henry kind of bottled up right now. 37 yards on third. All right, so they get three points out of that after the fake punt. It's 14-10 Baltimore. Oh, no, it is 20-10 Baltimore here on this drive in the second half. Mark Andrews back in the end zone from Lamar Jackson. Ravens back out on offense here from the 44. Lamar, deep shot. Yikes, that was well off the mark. Devin DuVernay couldn't track it. And Amani Hooker comes up with the interception. First of the day for Jackson, who again, just 12 of 21, 129 yards. Does have the connection for six to Mark Andrews, but that's about the biggest highlight through the air of the day. J.K. Dobbins, 68 on the ground in the score. Titans still down five. Derrick Henry starting to find a little bit of a rhythm, a, a rhythm. He's got 80 yards on the day on 21 carries. All right, let's take it back to Baltimore. Fun one coming here. Check out A.J. Brown. Will not go down. LaDainian Tomlinson, how about that run by the wide receiver for the score? Oh, my goodness, A.J. Brown. You are a beast. Unbelievable. Look at this. I mean, this is pure effort, determination. 
passion, everything, the game's on the line. A.J. Brown is saying, give me the ball, coach. I'll show you what I can do. Great play right there by A.J. Brown. Absolutely monstrous touchdown to take the lead. They're going to go for two to make it a three-point game and get it. Doesn't get much easier than that. Terrific play design there, LT. Yes, it is. And you know that they're expecting Derrick Henry to get the ball right there. And Ron Tannehill takes it out and goes around the left end for an easy two-point conversion. Titans, three-point lead coming back to get that touchdown and two-point conversion to make it happen. 24-21, big drive coming here, LT, for Lamar Jackson. 2.18 to go in this game. He's got a first and 10 from his own 25. Can he go 75 to not just get a field goal to tie it, but a touchdown to win it? Hadn't been the case much this season that we've seen them figure things out on offense in big situations like this. Can it be? Would today be the day? Nearly fumble from uh, Willie Sneed just a second ago, but we'll keep you posted. Shall we go to Baltimore? We're into overtime here. Tied at 24. Derrick Henry. So tough to bring down. LT finds a seam, and he gone. Walk-off winner for the Titans in overtime. Yeah, and the, the Titans, you got to give them credit because they kept with the run game even when it seemed like it wasn't working. So for this very reason, at the end of the game, in overtime, you keep on pounding it, and eventually Derrick Henry is going to find the seam and score the game-winning touchdown. Now, LT, does that tell you anything about this Ravens defense that was run on last year in the playoffs, that was run on last week in a Ravens loss, and now gives up the game winner on the ground again to the Tennessee Titans in a big game situation? Yeah, it does. It, it tells me that, you know, the B Baltimore Ravens are not the defense that they used to be. They can't just roll out there and stop people from running the football like they used to. You know, they're going to have to create some turnovers at times to get their offense back to football because their offense, they have been struggling at times and haven't moved the ball consistently. But at the end of the day, I really believe they, if they want to win, they're going to have to win it on defense. They're going to have to get healthy on that side of the ball and play better, certainly against the run. But remember, Calais Campbell, um, you know, did not.